Welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics, and really interesting challenge today, x to the power x equal to 12 and how can we solve this question. In this video I'm going to fully explain how can we solve it correctly and step by step. First of all let's rewrite our challenge, so we have x to the power x equal to equal to 12. So here's here's our challenge. What are we going to do next? Let's apply nature log on both sides. We have x right here as a power, x right here as a base, it's really bad thing. Let's apply nature log on both sides. So we have nature log of x to the power x equal to nature log, nature log 12. Okay, we just apply a nature log on both sides. Right now we can easily bring this x right here because it's all known property, all known nature log property. If we have nature log of a to the power b, we can write it as b times nature log a. Okay, all known nature log property, which helps us a lot, which simplifies our expression a lot. Okay, so let's do this. So we have x times nature log x equal to nature log 12. Okay, what are we going to do next? We should know uh, something about lambda w function. Um, everyone don't know about this lambda w function. A lot of students know about this lambda w function. A lot of students don't know about lambda w function. So take a look closely. I'm trying to explain you in, in simple words. Take a look closely. If you have expression like a times e to the power a, so the same expression right here and the same expression as a power of e, if we apply lambda w function of this expression, we have only our, only our a, okay? Okay, and right now let's try to create this expression, so something like that. For this expression we, we need e, yeah? Right here we don't have e, so right now let's create this e. How can we do this? Of course, let's write this x as e to the power nature log x. So e to the power nature log x, this is absolutely the same thing as x, yeah? e and nature log we can easily cancel and x goes right here, so as a result we have absolutely the same expression. So we create this e and we still have this expression, so let's rewrite it. So we have times nature log x equal to nature log, nature log 12. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. Right here it's really great moment to apply lambda w function, but we have a wrong order. So e right here uh, in, on, the, on the second position and right here we have expression without e. So right now let's swap this position. We can do this because this is a product. So we have nature log x times e to the power nature log x, which gives us nature log, nature log 12. And right now, take a look closely, nature log x and nature log x, absolutely the same expression, so this looks like our e, a, sorry, yeah, here we have the same expression, this is, this is, and uh, this expression are as absolutely the same, so we can easily apply lambda w function, so lambda w function of this expression, of nature log x times e to the power nature log x, and of course, uh, we should apply lambda w function on the right hand side, which is equal to lambda w function of nature log nature log 12. And right now, take a look right here, we have a, absolutely the same expression right here, and absolutely the same expression right here, and as a result, if we apply lambda double function, this is equal only to our a. In our case, a equal to nature log x, so we have, we have nature log x, nature log x equal to lambda double function of nature log 12. Okay, this is our constant, so it's it's nothing hard for us. This is a constant, so with any internet library you can easily find it. But right here we can easily simplify this a little bit. Take a look closer. Right here let's apply a e on both sides, okay? So right here let's apply e, so we have e to the power nature log x. So it goes as our power, but we create base of e on both sides. It changed nothing because this is like a function. So we have e to the power lambda w function of nature log 12. Okay, e to the power nature log x gives us only our x, because we can easily cancel this nature log, because this is with base of e, this is log property, so we can easily cancel in our mind this e and nature log x, and we have only our, only our x, gives us right here, and on the right hand side, we have e to the power lambda w function of nature log, nature log 12. Okay, this is our answer to this challenge. You can easily find exact value in your uh, internet libraries, but I find it for you right now. X approximately equal, x approximately equal to 2.2.6, our correct answer to this challenge. This is a correct answer for your exam, if you should solve it, this is a correct answer according to your exam, but if you allow to use your calculator, you can easily find the exact value or approximately value to this to this challenge. And for those who interested in, in, in a graph right here, so we have only one solution. We have x to the power x, this is something like that right here, so we have something like that. And our 12, this is our constant on the right hand side, so this is our constant right here. And right here, this is our point of intersection, so right here we have 2.6, approximately equal to 
2.6 right here, only one and only one point of intersection. So let's write our answer. Let's write our answer. Uh, here's our general answer, but let's write approximately answer x approximately equal to 2.2.6. And here's our our full answer according to your exam. If you're interested, you can easily uh, solve this question like that. Okay, here's my explanation to this challenge. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos. So with that being said, if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out for this particular video. So thank you for your support. See you in the next videos.